For more prayers from Line of Judah, subscribe to our prayer channel. Click the link in the description. A prayer to cancel the evil plan of the devil. John chapter 10 verse 10 says, The thief does not come except to steal, to kill and to destroy. I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. The enemy's scheme are ruthless and cunning. His mission and goal is to bring every believer down. But Christ came that we may have life in abundancy. James chapter 4 verse 7 says, Therefore submit to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. As believers, we need to resist the devil by submitting to the Almighty God and be under his authority. Satan is always plotting and planning your demise, and we are not to give him any chance, according to Ephesians chapter 4, verse 27. Christians have to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his mighty. We have to put on all the armor of God so that we will be able to stand firm against all the strategies of the devil. The Bible tells us that we do not fight against flesh and blood, enemies, but against spiritual enemies, against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, against mighty powers in this dark world, and against evil spirits in the heavenly places. This is not therefore to be taken lightly. However, the Bible says in Romans chapter 8, verse 37. Yet in all these things we are more than conquerors. Through him who loved us, we thank God that the war is already won in the name of Jesus. As we put on the armor, we use prayer as one of the pieces of armory. We need the sword of the Spirit as our weapon of protection to stand against the lies of the enemy and to crush all his schemes and silence his accusing attacks. Matthew chapter 18 verse 18 says, Assuredly, I say to you, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth will be loosed in heaven. This then means that you and me have some serious prayer to do if we are to cancel the evil plans of the enemy. Now let us pray. My dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I stand before your throne of grace, this day with boldness, knowing, O God, that you are my Lord and my God. I come to you, Lord, with my life and the life of my family members and all my loved ones. I pray that you cover me and my family from the crown of our heads to the soles of our feet with the blood of Jesus Christ. I come to you, O Lord, in the name of the resurrected Jesus, whose I am and whom I serve. I cancel all the plans and ploys of the enemy against me, my children and family, in the name of Jesus. I disallow any satanic surveillance and any ambushes upon my life and my loved ones. I thank you that you go before me always, and the horsemen and chariots men of Israel will run before me. Thank you, mighty God, that according to Isaiah 58 verse 8, the glory of God is my rear guard in the name of Jesus. I pray, Father, that you keep me safe and my family under your protection and the covering of the precious blood of the Lamb. I cancel and dismantle any satanic operations that are targeted to hinder progress in my life. In the name of Jesus, I pray. I decree and declare that victory is mine. I pray, Lord, that I may live a life of submission to your authority and continuously resist the devil 
and never to give him a chance in my life. I pray, Lord Jesus, that I clothe myself daily with the whole armour of God, that I may be able to stand firm against the evil one in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. I remove feelings of heaviness, oppression and depression upon my life and I cast them upon you, Lord, for your care. I replace these feelings with the power of praise upon my lips, for this will cause the enemy to flee. For your word says, you, Lord, has ordained praise to shame the devil and to silence the enemy. And I pray that your praises will continually be on my lips, according to Psalms 34. I pray that every secret meeting of the evil one concerning me and my family fail, and let all future diabolical communications fail and yield misunderstanding and confusion in Jesus' name. I pray, O Lord, let the evil one fall by his own counsel and let him be confounded and be put to shame. I pray, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that you overthrow and overrule any ill-spoken words against me and my family, any ill wishes, any curses, according to Isaiah 54, verse 19. I overthrow every idle word spoken against me and my family contrary to God's original plan and purpose in the mighty name of Jesus. I reverse every curse and every evil utterance said concerning me and my family, and I decree and declare that they shall not stand, they shall not come to pass, and they shall not take root in the powerful name of Jesus. I come against every lying tongue, and I declare that truth prevail. Hide me, Lord, from the scourge of the enemy's tongue. Place a hedge of protection around me, my family and my household, so that we can be preserved. I pray that you help me, Lord, to guard against opening any doors for the enemy. I bind and resist satanic intentions and negotiations concerning my life and the life of all my family members in the name of Jesus. And Father, let not the enemy triumph over me and my family, I pray. Let the thunderous fire of God come down and drown all the fires of the enemy set against my life. Lord, I pray that you dispatch your angels, Lord, to guard me and my household to deliver us from all the evil plans of the enemy, and I pray that every pit that the enemy has dug for me, he will fall in it himself. Your word states in Isaiah 54 verse 17, Every tongue that shall rise against me in judgment, I shall condemn. Therefore, I stand on the authority of this verse and say every word spoken. That does not align with God's will for my life. I rebuke in Jesus' name. Father, I ask for forgiveness for any door I have opened knowingly or unknowingly. Let them all be closed today in Jesus' name. Quench out the fire that the enemy has lit up for me, and Lord, destroy the beast that the enemy has prepared for me. I employ the host of heaven to war against the hosts of darkness in the name of Jesus. I pray, Lord, that you disrupt all the attacks of the enemy over my life and my family. Lord, you promised in your word that with my eyes I shall see and behold the reward of the wicked and no evil shall befall me. Arise, Lord, and let your enemies be scattered. Let those who envy and hate my life and my family be put to shame. I surrender all aspects of my life to your Spirit, that he may transform me in the lovely likeness of the Lord Jesus Christ. O Lord, I pray that you may give me grace to recognize his still, small voice as I search through the scriptures each day. As I pray, let me be sensitive to hearing his voice. Give me a sense to discern your spiritual nudges and your promptings 
through my day-to-day -day life. Allow me to walk in the Spirit today and forevermore, in Jesus' name. Thank you for the God that you are. Father, you don't make mistakes. You don't make accidents. You have never, ever got anything wrong before because you are perfect and your word remains the same forever and ever. Blessed Redeemer, I thank you for hearing and answering my prayers. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. For more prayers from Line of Judah, subscribe to our prayer channel. Click the link in the description 